Our vision for a savory hub is that it be a place of education, research, and connection. Working with the students from University of Idaho, Washington State University, working with wounded warriors, working with interns, to help them learn about regenerative agriculture and agriculture practices, and then go off and start farms of their own. Holistic management not only heals the land, but it heals the people involved in well as well. And that's why as a wounded warrior, it's very important to me, because it's healing to not just me, but my family and then the other wounded warriors that I know that we're trying to help as well. The Inland Northwest Central Rocky Mountains is a unique ecosystem found in the Inland Northwest part of the United States, encompassing the foothills and mountains of the Northwest Washington, Idaho, and Montana. It's an open woodland forest made up of various species of western larch, pine, and fir trees. Uh, we have 1,280 acres on this farm, 600 basically in pasture, and 600 in woodlands and meadows. Uh, the, the farm has three streams that run through it, with 14 lakes that are also located on the farm. We produce beef, pork, chicken, eggs, and raw milk. Additionally, we have plum trees and apple trees, along with two hoop houses that are used to produce fresh vegetables. We currently have an education center on our farm that has the capability to house students overnight, and we're also in the process of building additional facilities to support our educational mission. We've got great natural resources to develop. They're already walking the talk. Making this a hub of a venue that's already got great resources to bring in other people, to educate people, and to expand the knowledge, the, the benefits of holistic management in the ag resource community would be a great plus to this area. George and Carly, who own Myelina's and Sangria Restaurant, they want to buy local product from local farmers. They're having issues with sourcing. What got me back into farming was I used to be the critical infrastructure chief for the Department of Defense. And I realized at that time that without food system, we cannot sustain ourselves as a community. So I got back into farming so we could not only sustain food for our own family, but other teach others how to be sustainable within the community. Some of our biggest challenges today are a result of overgrazing, rural depopulation, and a loss of knowledge and traditions and the increasingly low prices paid for agricultural products due to subsidies by the government. It's led into a serious degradation of land management practices and production techniques. To make matters worse, pine beetles and extensive drought are killing off the native forests. In the past, a vast migration of elk, deer, buffalo, all moved through the region providing the necessary grazing to keep the ecosystem in balance. I also am learning to run global information systems for the farm. And what that is, is it's basically an electronic map of the farm that includes microclimates, foliage, uh, runoff, and after you get about a few years of it, you can use it to predict and record changes in the land. You can also plug in soil testing data and things like that. Cinda Williams, Master of Science in Agriculture, is a member of our team. She has worked at University of Idaho focusing on sustainable local food systems since 1994. She's been the SAR representative for Idaho since 1996. Erica Crespi is a professor and a researcher at Washington State University. She studies embryological development and the impact of ecosystem and environment on embryological development. So why here, why now? We have the youth who are on board and excited. We have the restaurateurs. We have the researchers from the universities who are eager to do the research. The entire property has been GIS mapped. We have the background and all of the soil data. We've got the platform, we've got the baseline. We're ready to go forward and take those next steps in holistic management and to take those lessons learned and to spread those lessons not just around the region, but around the country and around the world.